first time seeing everybody since we started back up and uh, hope everybody had a good time off, good break. Uh, I know myself, I had a great time with the family and played a lot of golf and my wife uh, was trying to teach me how to play pickleball. That's a new exciting sport. I found out I don't have breaks anymore. When you want to go run for a ball, watch out if you're standing in the way. So, but uh, it was a really enjoyable time and uh, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it's it's always great when the players come back. And I think, you know, the, the, the culture that, that Dave's is, is continuing to build and the things that, you know, we did defensively, uh, uh, you know, like we in the during the OTAs and, and mini camp, we went to the comedy cellar and, and just kept everybody was together and, and we picked up right where we left off. And that's also exciting to see. So with that, I'll open it up to questions. What is it about this group that gives you optimism that they could be even better than last year? I just think it's, uh, you know, a lot of different things, Jordan. It's a uh, second year in the system. Uh, you know, you, you know, that, you know, the players that are coming back, you know them better than what you did at this time last year. Uh, guys themselves are just working their, you know, working really hard and, and trying to improve every day, whether that's Dex or the, you know, the last guy we just brought in, you know, whoever that is. And, and, uh, Hey, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, the organizational alignment that we have with Joe and Dave's and, you know, and the whole staff of, you know, guys that, that you're looking for, the traits, the characteristics and all that, we're all in, we're all in a line and it, uh, it's an exciting time right now like it is for the 31 other teams, I'm sure. Wait, what did you miss with, without a healthy Aziz last year and what, what has he given you so far in camp? Uh, what he really truly played in what five six games I don't remember the exact number because last year is last year I think he averaged a sack a game so that'd be the that's the layup thanks I appreciate it Kim <laughs> you know he's he's a he's a pure pass rusher that uh, he's fun to watch when does the uh the light come on for the rookies and does it in your experience does it differ from you know a d-line linebacker or someone in the secondary <clears throat> for it to click no I I think that it it it's various times that the light comes on. I mean, um, you know, you can you can pick out whatever play you want to, you know, pick out. Uh, you know, like in Baltimore, we had Tyus Bowser. It was really the third year that he stepped up. You know, that he, you really said, okay, that's who we drafted. I'm just using that as an example. That's the first one to come to my mind. But uh, you know, it's 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 per individual, per per player. It's not by position. Wait, you just mentioned. You know, second year in the system should be, you know, better. Mm -hmm. What exactly does that mean? Do you think? I mean, is it more that you know them better, they know you better, or you know, it, it, you're, you're advancing from like middle school to high school? You know what I mean? That you can do more. No, I, I think that it's what you said initially. It's you know, we know them better and they know us better. Uh, you know, I mean, it, and it's a 50-50 thing, and um, you know, you can visualize, you know, what guys can do. Uh, you know, like the, you know. We, we did that last year and it was it was fine. It worked out well for us. Um, but we also know there's a lot of improvement, you know, a lot of improving that we need to do. Because if you're not changing in this league, you won't be in this league very long. And uh, you'll like your irre irrelevancy even less. Thank you. I learned that word this summer. So. Wait, can you talk about the young inside linebackers? You know, you have Micah, who had a little bit of adversity last year, Darian coming back from that ACL. What have you seen for those two as far as their growth? I, I think that, you know, they, they're they both improving every day and they're working hard. It's great competition in that room. Um, obviously, obviously, with the addition of uh, Bobby O, you know, that, that it's, uh, it's really helped that room, um, you know, Deontay Johnson, undrafted free agent we have out Toledo. I'm excited to see. You know, we've only had one day in Pats when you're talking about evaluating players and everything else. So it, it's it's going to be a process that I'll be able to answer those questions better after we get some preseason games and, and do things like that. But what, what, what uh, makes sense of whether your, your run defense and will be better, needs to be better, and all that this year based on what you've seen so far? Oh, I, I think that it will. And I think it will because, you know, the additions that, that we made, um, whether it be, you know, Nacho or Sean or, you know, the seventh round pick, Jordan Riley. I don't know if you guys have seen or stood next to him yet. It's like going to California, standing next to a Redwood. I mean, he is, uh, he's, a, he's a big man and, you know, he's got to learn how to play at this level and can be consistent with it. And, but, uh, you know, I, I'm excited about that.
How impressed are you with uh, Trey Hawkins' camp so far? Oh, he's had a great camp. He's had a great camp. And, you know, it's, it's amazing to me, you know, you go back and you think about the different guys, you know, and where they came from. It doesn't matter where you come from once you get here because the resources and the people that, that, that they have to work with, you know, at this level. And, you know, the guys that are productive, you can just see the confidence build. And uh, I really think he's done a nice job, but he's got a lot of things to work on, just like we all do. Wink, you talked about uh, Deontay's goldfish mentality. How have yeah. you seen him handle the first early portion of camp? Yeah. What was, it? what was the end part of it? How have you seen him handle the first portion of camp? Yeah, I think he's been great. You know, I, I, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, corners are, are on the island. You know what I mean? When, when you see he's on the island. And this is the NFL. It's 50-50 on the edge. You know what I mean? And he's really, you know, if, if he still has that mentality, you know, if he gets knocked down nine times, he gets up 10 and doesn't flinch, listens, learns. Rome's doing a great job with him, uh, Jerome Henderson. And, uh, you know, I think both those young corners have really come in and they've competed and it's, they're, they're exciting to watch. We've seen Adore play a few snaps in the slot while uh -huh. Trey has got that opportunity. Is that something you would actually consider? I, I you know, we're, we're doing all kinds of different combinations and a lot of it is, is like you just said, Pat, is, you know, we wanted to get Trey with the ones to see how he handled that and he's handled that well. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of competition out there in, in all the spots. You were talking about the uh, other inside linebacker spot. How that affects Bobby, do you have a preference of him being the mic, or I guess you call the other spot the dime? Does, is that a big difference to you? I, I think that's what's great about Bobby. He can play either or, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll just take the best player available, you know, and we talk about competition. You know, there's, you know, I, I told the whole defense the other day, you know, don't don't limit it to think that, that it's just competition that's in that room. It's competition that's in that room and plus 31 other teams. Because, I mean, look what we did with the roster after training camp last year. Um, you know, there was a lot of changes being made all the time. And it was, and like, I can't say enough about Joe and his group and, and Dave's of, you know, what they continue to do with the roster, you know, week by week. And, uh, you know, to be competitive, it's, it's, that's a hard thing to do in this league. When, when a team retools, a lot of times what you see is a good level at the top and then it falls off. I mean, are you deeper this year? I hope so. We're going to find out. Like I said, it was just our first day in pads. So, you know, I'll, I'll be able to answer that question for you, you know, as we go. But, I mean, just just by the eye test, I think we're, we're, we're deeper up front with, you know, the tackles positions. What are you going to say, Kim? How, how much does it help you evaluate your defense that the offense brought in some real skill players who are probably going to challenge any defense you play this year, including, you know, obviously Waller, yeah. high at speed, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, you know, competition just breeds success, you know, and we couldn't cover Waller when he was an undrafted free agent in Baltimore. Um, and, you know, those kind of things, it's, it's a lot, it's fun to see. And, you know, just like JP made the great pick the other day, you know, that's, that, that builds confidence in a team and it's exciting to see. Do you have a memory of him, a young Waller, against your defense? Yeah, it came back the other day in practice <laughs> when he's <laughs> like eating peanuts off the top of people's heads, picking the balls up. Wink, is, is, is Pinnock making a legit case right now to be your week one starter there, do you think? Uh, yeah, but I still think there's competition yeah. everywhere, you know. You uh, and we'll see in the, the deal. I, I, you know, I think it's the same thing we started off with. It, it's the second year. You know, and he was one of the examples that you said that he was one of the examples when I told you I told the defense about competition in this league. Every day you drive in the parking lot, you're, you're looking to be replaced. That's coaches and players. And I said, like, JP, where were you at last year in training camp? You, you know, come for the Jets. And there's there you have it. You know, I mean, that's that's what I was trying to the point I was trying to make. And it's usually for, you know, the younger guys, the best know all that. Coach, from your perspective, uh, What's tougher for him from a defensive point of view to defend, speed or size? And you can't say both. I can't say both. <laughs> Ask me a question and tell me what I can't say. There's always a good place for a little guy. It's behind the big guys. That's up front. I mean, you know, but. I love speed as well. I, I'm saying both. I, don't tell me I can't say both. I'm saying both. 
it's tough. It's tough in this league, you know, and it's uh, it's fun, but that you know that's why we're here.